Kylie Philomau gets us started. Panthers now with the first swing, and it's Olivia Babcock with fittingly the first point of this match. She's going to be huge for this Pitt Panthers offense, you know, making sure that they get her the ball early and often so she can be kind of that steady point that she's been this entire season. Rachel Fairbanks to serve for the Panthers. Rachel does everything for this Pitt team. Four times setter of the week in the ACC this year, right? Shot blocked. Opportunity again this time. A little off speed. Pancake from Tori Stafford and a kill from Olivia Babcock. Early game, you know, 5 p.m. moved it up a little bit. Tori Stafford had her pancakes this morning, got that carb load in, <laughs> making sure she is ready to go for this big matchup. It was a great decision by Koenig, just a better play. Barely saving it was Stafford. It's 2 nothing pit. And again, Koenig, but we'll hit it through this time in the first point for Florida State. And something you got to watch out for with this Florida State offense is they run a very fast offense. A lot of these sets aren't going higher than the top of the antenna. It's getting out to the pins with speed, trying to create some mismatches so the defense won't be set up in time. Red shirt junior, Emery dupes the serve for Florida State. And this time it's off speed from Olivia Babcock. That doesn't seem fair. I mean. It just feels like it doesn't matter. Even on that one, it kind of looked like a paintbrush, kind of just fell off her fingertips, might not have been on purpose. But that's what happens when you hit it as hard as she does. You're so dug in on defense, expecting a hard-driven ball. Valeria Vasquez-Gomez just went over 1,000 kills in her career with an ace. Miscommunication from the Florida State side, and it's 4-1 Panthers. Can't let that happen, Jeff. I mean, mis you know, miscommunications, these are not the matches that you want. That physical mistakes are going to happen. Everyone's going to make mistakes. That's part of the game. But what you don't want are those more mental errors. 30 aces on the season now for Vasquez Gomez. Much tougher serve there and a free ball here for Pitt. Setting the middle and blocked. Unfortunately, Florida State just couldn't get anything going. It was a good block by Perry, but it just doesn't seem like Florida State's in a rhythm at this point yet. And that, if you're the Pitt Panthers, that's what you want to happen off of your serve. You want it to be chaos off of the serve. You don't want them in any sort of rhythm. You want them scrambling, sending over a free ball. Again, good serving early on by the Panthers. And a hit just a little bit long by Taylor Head. And Jeff, I genuinely believe, you know, this this Panthers offense is stacked with great servers, but I really think that Valeria Vasquez Gomez might be the most important server because when you look up front when she's serving, you've got Brie Kelly, Olivia Babcock, and Tori Stafford. Probably your biggest heavy hitters up front. And with a little off speed, dive by Emmy Klicka. Tori Stafford, good dig by Florida State's Kylie Filamato. And a point for Pitt once again. Philly Mawa just going through the block there, really just kind of playing a little bit of bully ball rather than having to go around the block. Just go straight through it, see if you can get that ball to land, push some hands back. Florida State gets the point, 6-2. So they look to get a little momentum going in their direction. 18 wins on the season for the Seminoles. And a middle kill, perfectly set and executed. Bree Kelly. What a beautiful run, really set up by an absolutely perfect pass. Um, but you can see there, you know, Corey Lewis kind of tapped her chest saying, my bad after, just kind of lost track of the middle there, wasn't up with her, and that just left, I mean, that left Brie Kelly on an empty net. She's going to get a kill 100 times out of 100 on an empty net. The senior cat flood in to serve. By dupes, but again, Florida State just has to send it over. Chance for Stafford. And once again, a tough serve, setting up easy offense for the Panthers. They send over a nice, easy ball. You get a perfect pass, three options. Is that something that may be underrated with this Pitt team? So much attention to Babcock and Stafford and also what Rachel Fairbanks does, but as a team, they serve so well. 
I, I am 100% agree with you. And I really think, you know, it's really like that offense and defensive line, that serving and passing are the most two important facets of this game at every level, no matter how talented everyone is. And when you can create that type of off speed, you know, with your serve and get the other team, you know, out of system, it just makes everything easier beyond that. An error by the Panthers, it's 8-3, jump serve. Effective serve for Florida State, Babcock is blocked. Opportunity here, Taylor Head sends one deep, no tip, Panther point. It's another sellout here at the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse. And just a bit long for Olivia Babcock. And you like the aggressive serve. That That's her style. Um, that's kind of what she is committed to, especially with that aggressive topspin serve. We're going to get those misses. Taylor head to serve. 9-4 Panthers from the back row. Wow. We've seen her right side, back row. And that's really where it starts to get dangerous, though, Jeff. You know, when when Rachel Fairbanks is up front, which she is now, you know, you're looking at her, you're looking at Ryla Jones, you're looking at Valeria Vasquez Gomez. It's almost easy to forget, oh my gosh, we also have to pay attention to two hitters in the back row as well. And Corey Lewis is blocked. Vasquez Gomez getting up high against the 6 3 Corey Lewis. 11 4, hot start for the Panthers. Tori Stafford. Near ace. The Panthers try to save, but unable. Kill for Florida State. Nice pace, nice set there by Robertson. A good decision. Hanke with the kill. Kenneth Phelan, sophomore from Arkansas. Feeling 28 aces this year. Panthers set middle. That one's blocked by Perry. Blocked back and four hits for Florida State. That was a well really good slowdown on the block, though, by Kelsey Perry. That ball goes so high. That's like a really positive block touch, you know? That gives the, the defense plenty of time to get under it, plenty of time for your hitters to transition. You know, of course, you want the block that's roofed and lands on the ground, but if not, you want something positive where you can run an offense off of the other side. Junior Dylan Griffin in to serve. Panthers hitting 700 early on in this first set. And that one blocked back by Hankey. Hankey will try again and is able to find ground. I like that speed there to the outside. That's, that's kind of, that, I think that's what's going to give them their best shot of creating that mismatch against a very big pit up front. That's a great blocking team. And Hankey, you know, is really, really big, really strong. Had a great season last year at Cal State LA. And Fili Ma just long on that serve. That was close. It looked like it was going ah. long the whole way, and it did, died at the end. Nice float, at least. You know you got some good movement. No challenge from Chris Poole. 13-6. Fairbanks. <laughs> Ace. <laughs> when things are going your way. Ace 25. I don't know if she could duplicate that one again. No. And she is a tremendous server, but that's one of those, just depending on what side you're on, you're either really happy or really disappointed. Uh, she tried it again. <laughs> <laughs> she almost did it. A little harder. That might have spun over. Emery Dupes to serve for Florida State. 5'6", junior. She's dealt with injury, but is really coming back into form. 108 digs this year. Vasquez Gomez will just send it over. Dupes will send it back. Head. Now a chance for the Panthers. Fairbanks sets up Babcock. 
And just no chance for Phelan off the hit by Babcock. Great heavy hand cross court shot. Oh, so hard to defend. Panthers hitting 583 and make it 667 now and a 15 to 7 lead here first set. You're watching ACC Volleyball here on ACC Extra. Olivia Babcock already with five kills. Of course, it's Babcock or Stafford in every match this year as the leading a leader in kills. This Panthers team, though, balanced. They've, they've really gotten stronger in the middle as the season has progressed. And we mentioned the serving with Vasquez Go Gomez serving 15-7. Nearly over, good save, but a block straight down by Olivia Babcock off the head hit. And that was a great grab by Kenna Phelan, but you know, a little bit of a tight set because she was so tight and against this block, there's just nowhere to go with that ball. Again, that's tight, good back set and a kill right side by Koenig. That has to feel good if you're, if you're the Seminoles offense. That's a great pass by Philly Mawa, you know, and then you got Audrey Koenig putting it away, who's going to be really influential for this team today to pull off the upset here. Grad student transfer from Memphis, Lauren Robertson to serve. <laughs> Look of the serve, receive, and that pushed right back at the Panthers. Babcock, or excuse me, Stafford is blocked but out of bounds. Point for Torrey Stafford and Pitt. Using the block to your advantage, being able to tool them, get that ball to bounce out of bounds. Ryla Jones and Cat flood in, flood to serve. Pitt has their stars, but they're able to work in other players who are who at times have had big roles in their matches this year. Good dig by Dupes. And again, see they've done their film watching on that part of the Panthers' middle. Middle kill by Lewis. 6-3 senior. Audrey Koenig. Florida native. Top spin serve. Panthers set middle. Florida State able to go to Koenig in the back. And Lewis cleans it up in the middle. Corey Lewis with two straight. If you can get her the ball, I think you got to feed her early. Because again, since she's a middle, she's not going to get every single set. But if you can feed her, you want to get her involved in this match early. Stafford, great save by head. The block, though, goes out of bounds. Amazing reaction there by Taylor Head. Sometimes that's what it is. Just like you just got to be athletic, you got to be ready to go. And she does a phenomenal job of that. Good receive by Dupes. That time Lewis is blocked. He'll go to Koenig in the back. That's dug by Babcock. This time ahead, right at Klicka. Tori Stafford will try to pop it over and a free ball here for Pitt. Tori Stafford is blocked, but unable to do anything with it is Florida State, and it's 19-10. Pitt and a timeout for Chris Poole and the Seminoles. Panthers holding Florida State to 083 hitting. It's 1910 Panthers. You're watching ACC Volleyball here at the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse. Welcome to the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse here at the University of Pittsburgh campus. There is Pitt head coach Dan Fisher, his team hitting 550 here in the first with a 19-10 lead. So 
see the hit percentages between the two schools. Pitt kind of got out to a run early and has been in control this entire set. Another good serve received by Dupes. Panther is able to wow. keep it alive, but Fairbanks may be being a little too cute yeah. and unable to get it over. I mean, that's an incredible reaction by Klicka just to get that ball back up in the air. See Chris Poole. His team, his team beat Pitt in five in Florida. Olivia Babcock coming from the back to make it 20 to 11. That was an incredible match last year. As these teams tied for the ACC championship. But Pitt in control here in the first. Chance for Pitt again from the back and in. This time it's Tori Stafford. We're going to see a challenge. I think so. Is it a challenge of a violation or a challenge of out? Well, no challenge after all. Chris Bull is one of eight with 900 wins of the active coaches or of coaches in Division I. Florida State will tip middle, and great decision by Corey, Corey Lewis. I love that play. That's, so, that's such a high IQ play. You get two blockers up in front of you, just a nice touch to that four zone, which is going to be the left front of the pit, off, of the pit uh, front offense. Kenneth Feelin, the 5'7 sophomore to serve. Anything for Florida State, you're looking to build some momentum for set two and a serve just a bit long. This Panthers, I mean, click a dove, but avoided it. And we'll see his substitutions again. This time it's Blair Bayless. And based on this substitution and where Torrey Stafford is playing, which is in the one zone, which is the back right of the pit back row, Without Rachel Fairbanks in, I'm thinking that Tori Stafford is going to act as the setter if this ball comes back over on defense. Hmm. Dylan Griffin, a 10 oh, point yeah. pit lead. And right side hit in a cannon from Feely Ma. And that's that flash that you can see if you get in system and you can get all three of your front row hitters, gives you one on one opportunities up front. You can see where the power and where this team has that spark that they have that ability Kylie, to do. Sorry, Kyleen's an outside hitter, but she can do everything on the court. And they ask her to during the span of a match. Fairbanks in. Vasquez Gomez is blocked straight back. And all four of their pin hitters, you know, meaning. Taylor Head, Audrey Koenig, Kyleen Filimawa, and then Henke, all four of them kind of have that fluidity. They all, both have to be, they all have to be able to play both on the right side and on the outside while, during these rotations. And essentially an ace for Filimawa. And this is that better FSU play, and it's 22-15. And that time, Bree Kelly gets it back for Pitt. She's really come alive as of late, hasn't she? Really, really showed up in these big matches. I mean, she's moving up the ACC, sixth in blocks per set. But she's also hitting 495 coming into this game on the year, which is insane. Florida State looking to get it back and do. Audrey Koenig with a big kill from the left side. Koenig has been so consistent this year for Pitt or for Florida State. Two-time Offensive Player of the Week. Now Dupes will serve. 
Klicka will set this time. And Panthers into the net. Double hit. Gibbs to continue here, 23-17. Lead that was 10 has been cut. And again, Emmy Klicka doing those little things to save that. A back set, Klicka again. And right side, Babcock is blocked this time. I think that was Taylor Head that got that. FSU likes that roll shot. They like that, you know, little change up that's fallen in the middle of the floor. They're really using it to kind of throw this Panther offense off balance. And some really good serving keying Florida State. As Babcock, great play by Dupes. But just a little too far, and the Panthers are able to put it away and set up set point. Vasquez Gomez will serve it. Oh, yeah, two! And Mires, good save. Head's just going to send it over. And a point to the Panthers. And that'll do it. We've seen some spectacular points, some good points. It ends on a eh, point. <laughs> but the Panthers will take it. Yeah. <laughs> Cock with seven kills, five for Torrey Stafford as the Panthers hit 429 in the first set. For Florida State, Audrey Koenig and Corey Lewis with three kills each. Florida State hit 167. Although you kind of feel like Florida State found their game in the second half of that first set. Yeah, and you have to be glad about that. You know, that's why, hey, these are best of five for a reason. You can't get too stressed over the first set, especially you got your footing there at the end. You saw, you know, Koenig, Lewis, had all kind of started to make little waves at the end. Now I'm thinking this set, you've kind of got to go pedal to the metal. Panthers, Rachel Fairbanks with 13 assists. Five for Robertson, six for Phelan for Florida State. So if you're Florida State, you're feeling like carry that on. For the Panthers, they also had some dominant stretches of that first set. Rachel Fairbanks to serve as we get set for set number two. I feel like we're in the zoo. <laughs> we, we basically are. I mean, we're in it. Like I'm we're sure everyone at home can hear it. <laughs> from it, if you're a Florida State fan, Band. The Oakland Zoo is the student section for the Pitt Panthers. But it also shows, I mean, this, this season, kind of a lot of that momentum came from last season. This atmosphere has been great here, both at the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse and at the Peterson Event Center. So this is the tough thing with these 5 o'clock starts. It's, what, 5.30? People are walking by with the food. The smell's coming up. Do you want to run to the concession stand, Jeff? I do. I'll cover for you. You got it? Yep. <laughs> Rachel Fairbanks again. She likes to serve off the net today and a big first kill from the left side. That's Taylor Head. That's what you want if you're Florida State right there. Absolutely beautiful run, great pass, fast tempo sets so that you're not going to get two blockers set up and then a beautiful cross court shot. Fairbanks will set. Olivia Babcock, that lands in. Babcock with eight kills, and it's 1-1. Vasquez Gomez, seems like she served a lot, has an ace so far. Nearly one there, but look how effective that serve is, setting up Pitt here. And the middle kill, Doug by Robertson, and a tip over blocked back, but Florida State able to control. And a dig again by Klicka, and a deep hit by Torrey Stafford. It's 2-1 Florida State. 
good defense on both sides of the ball there. I think that's what you want is really got to stay engaged. Both teams have really aggressive hitters, but just kind of in different ways. With Florida State, you're going to see a little bit more off speed, more shot selection, whereas with the Panthers, you're seeing a lot of rip away on every ball. Kenneth Phelan was ACC All-Freshman team last year. Her serve, Babcock has blocked right back. Florida State picking up the defense. They're able to get their hands on that, but too much power <laughs> off the Stafford serve. Or excuse me, Stafford swing. It's 2-2. Two -two. And that's what she does. Even after that first one, you come right back and you swing away again. You know, you're not intimidated by the block. That's why they, you know, they put such high value in coverage and getting those second chance opportunities. Cat flooded 2-2. And it, I don't know if that was an intentional slide or if that's just how it worked for Florida State, but a point for Florida State. Kylie Philly Ma'a. She was also on the ACC All Freshman team. Again, serve. Right side, Olivia Babcock. This is like old, old school, back and forth. It's just so hard to stop her. You know, it just always feels like she's always hitting such high hands. She's getting a hold of, ball, of the ball at almost the top of the antenna. She's so hard to slow down if you are the on the opposing team. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Good said, and Koenig is able to put it right in the middle. Perfect play by Audrey Koenig. Her fourth kill, and it's 4-3, Florida State. If this were not rally scoring, I don't know if we'd have a point yet. <laughs> right? And beautiful pass by Philly Mawa, who actually has played some time as the little Barrow, so great six rotation player to have. And a service error sends it right back to the Panthers. A lot of back and forth. One of these teams have to be thinking we want to hold our server back there for two or three straight points. Tori Stafford now at 4-4. Six kills already for Stafford. Koenig just hits it through everybody. Audrey Koenig, 6'3", senior from Wesley Chapel, Florida. And a service substitution. Warren Robertson to serve. Kelly nearly put it away. That ball was not tipped. Ball hit long. And again, we go back and forth. Some pit substitutions. Dylan Griffin in to serve Bree Kelly back in. Kill for Florida State. I wonder if we could take this all the way to 25 and beyond, or we just alternate points. Just trade in point for point, execute on serve, receive, go back, execute on serve, receive, back the other way. 31 aces for Koenig after her serve. Vasquez Gomez winds up. And a net ball violation for, by Florida State. It's 6-6. Six, six. Rachel Fairbanks, 16 assists already. I think her first serve that didn't hit the net, but the block by Bree Kelly and Babcock off the head hit straight down Olivia wow. Babcock. That's also where sometimes, you know, those tight sets, you know, you might end up eating those coming right back at you because there's just not the, that much you can do. And someone like Bree Kelly who can get over, penetrate the net. Robertson, again, that tip from Florida State up by head and rising up, but long and tipped. Olivia Babcock gets to double digit kills.
And this is the first run we've seen in this second set. Modest 3-0 run here for the Panthers. And there's that slide by Lewis. Becomes four straight for Pitt. And a timeout for Chris Poole and Florida State. It's 9-6 Panthers. Panthers up a set. Jeff Hathorne, Kelsey Bonk with you here at the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse. all three of your front row hitters accountable because Florida State always has a back row setter, so you will always have three attackers in the front row. Fairbanks again, this one off the top of the net. That's a coach's point. Got iced. He got iced there, coming out of the timeout. I'm glad we weren't close enough to read mouths. Rachel was not happy <laughs> after that. Florida State opportunity here to get a run of their own going. But Vasquez Gomez able to power through that hit. As Panthers get it right back and Vasquez Gomez will serve. Gorgeous pass from Stafford setting that up. Three option pass, making Rachel Fairbanks job a lot easier. Vasquez Gomez recently got her 1,000th kill. And she is 33 digs away for 1,000 as the block goes right back by Bree Kelly. Great job tracking Corey Lewis there, who's you know a real threat on this Seminoles team, who also, speaking of 1,000 kills, also eclipsed her 1,000th kill this season, which she's only the second middle in FSU history to do it. It's so much harder to do it as a middle, Jeff. And that's blocked but out of bounds. So Philly Mao with the point, and it's 11-8. And substitution for Phelan to serve. Phelan had 17 assists, seven digs, and four aces against Pitt last year. is Tori Stafford. Kill seven for Stafford. What a cut on that ball. Just turning that thumb down, getting it to go strong cross court. She can open up the entire floor. Cat Flood has had opportunities this year to play a little bit more than she has. A graduate student final season. She'll be honored here on Sunday in the kill by Philly Mao. Philly Mao out to serve. And a kill in the middle for Ryla Jones for the Panthers. And it is 13 to 9. Hmm. 13 to 9. <laughs> nice clean run there. And Ryla Jones, you know, what's funny is, you know, you look at Bree Kelly's percentage and think how efficient she is. And then you have Ryla Jones, who's also hitting 421 as a middle, which is equally as exceptional, but almost gets overshadowed because Bree Kelly's hitting almost 500. Service error for the Panthers. And Florida State trailing by three, but plenty of time here in set number two. Dupes serve. And from the back is Olivia Babcock. Just no chance. And Jeff, we've seen now a group of back row attacks from both Tori Stafford and Olivia Babcock. Most very successful. But most of those ones coming out of the middle are called a pipe when it's coming out of the middle of the back row. But a lot of these are starting to look almost like some people call it a BIC, meaning a back row quick. Like these sets aren't as high. They're a lot faster, and they're so hard to defend. Try for a quick set over, and Babcock kind of standing still, a vertical jump able to get up, put enough on it. Kenneth Phelan tried to catch the Panthers sleeping, but just couldn't get that ball to land. Stafford is so improved in her sophomore season, serving and 
The hit attempt by Head blocked. Rachel Fairbanks said we could, she could do it all. And now here's a second scoring run for Pitt this set. And it's a six-point deficit, and the Seminoles into the net. Your timeouts are precious, but you're wondering again, at 17-10, maybe another pit point you're going to have to use, Absolutely. use a second. Absolutely. And Stafford with an ace. And there indeed it is. Let's keep it right here. Why has Pitt been so good this year? Well, you know, I think when you look at the numbers, it's so easy to. And then a Virginia team and Miami that's going to be here on Sunday. Of course, Florida State gets SMU next. I mean, are there some teams that aren't as good as others? Yes. But the depth of the ACC has been something where it's never been before in women's volleyball. Yeah, like you'd have to agree. Like this is this is the best it's been, right? This this has Ever. to be it. And everybody was excited about Stanford and the kill by Koenig, but SMU has made quite a splash, including Pitt's only loss. They came out of nowhere this year, really, really hit the scene and have really looked great, played in some big matches. And I mean, they do have a lot of grad transfers. They have a lot of veteran players that have played a lot of volleyball. But I mean, hey, whatever it takes to make your run, that's what you got to do. Lauren Robertson to serve. As Florida State looks to get a run going itself. Vasquez Gomez. And Head sends it right back over. Smart play by Taylor Head. And it's 18-12. I love that decision. That's a really high IQ play. Everyone's in for coverage. Ball goes nice and high. Just go ahead and take a rip at it. Just aim deep where no one's at. Taylor Head with four kills and a service error by Florida State. Audrey Koenig leads Florida State with six kills, 12 for Olivia Babcock, seven for Tori Stafford. So Mallory Meyer, the freshman from Nebraska, come in and serve. It's something you see a lot from Dan Fisher, these spot opportunities to get young players in. And Ryla Jones, there's Meyer with the dig and the tip over. Opportunity here for Pitt from the back is Olivia Babcock. And Mallory Meyer, big part of that point happening. And that's what it is. You know, you're, you're bringing her in because you really want her to put pressure on this Seminoles team in terms of their serve receive, but then you gotta come in and you still have to perform defensively. And I think that's where the separator is. And Fisher looking for his 311th win here at Pitt. Koenig sends it over, dive by Fairbanks. From the back is Stafford. Whether they're in system, out of system, the Panthers have just made plays so far tonight. And that's what's so dangerous about this team with these two being back row and can also still attack from back there. Even whenever it seems like all chaos has broken loose, you can still get them the ball and still have an opportunity to win the point. Panthers opening up a big lead. Koenig able to put it away to get the serve back. She can hit well from everywhere, and I think a big part of that is probably that uh, beach background that she also has. But she looks great on the right side. Just high contact, able to rip the ball away. Pitt is hitting 5-11 tonight. And an ace for Koenig. So I do believe she leads the yep, she leads their team in aces. And what I think is weird is she has a very interesting serve. So she tosses it with two hands and it's flat, which would make you think that it's gonna be a float, but then she has this top spin ball. Yeah. Just seemingly flying in is Olivia Babcock. I have to keep feeding the hot hand. I mean 14 kills on 18 attempts. You just, how do you stop feeding her? And 
Fairbanks service Three error. As Pitt remains three from set number two. Pitt won the first 25 to 18. Fairbanks sets up. Olivia Babcock, who else? I mean, we're at 15 kills and we're not through two sets. These numbers are incredible. And she's doing it front row, back row. She's swinging down the line, off the block. Blocked and hit over by Pitt. And middle kill attempt, Doug. Stafford, Straight good up. play by Robertson. And right side, but blocked down by Tory Stafford. I think that was Lewis that tried from the right side. And we're at set point all of a sudden. Boy, a couple of seemingly innocent runs for Pitt, and then they just took control. for Valeria Vasquez Gomez. Two sets in, both to the Panthers. We're back with set number three. Jeff Hathorne, Kelsey Bonk here for Pitt, Florida State. Now for the Seminoles, it's digging down, getting a couple points, getting a little run going. The details as well, making sure that Four service errors so far. You can't have that against a team like Pitt, even though that's not horrible amount. Still, you've got to do all those little things right when you're, especially when you're at Pitt. And it's looking like they are making a little bit of a shake, bu shake up on their lineup. I'm seeing number 10 in, which is Maddie Snyder, who's a 6'4 right side. Maybe they're just thinking, hey, we got to bring in some bodies. We need to get a bigger block up front against Tory Stafford and Olivia Back. We'll see if we can just create some mismatches with size. And Stafford says, you mentioned a right side, but hits lefty. So a little bit of a unique look. Eileen Filima to serve for Florida State. Panthers sticking with the similar lineup. Why change? Fairbanks sets Valeria Vasquez Gomez, her third kill. She's reminding us she's here too. You know, she's she can be part of the action. She can get in on it. And, and how about her, the way she's accepted whatever role. You get a Stafford and a Babcock that come in. She's not quite the player she probably thought or where she thought she would be, and yet she's accepted whatever the team needs. Like a little jumble in steps, and the Panthers able to get a point out of it from who else? You can't send over an easy free ball against this Pitt Panthers team. You cannot do that. You got to be aggressive. You got to send something over that's going to make them, you know, have to work a little bit harder. Ashley Reynolds, a sophomore from Sarasota, in for Florida State. Quick 2 0 Pitt lead. Panthers won the first two sets. And Corey Lewis, Emmy Clicker right there. From the back is Stafford. That's nine for Torrey, and it's 3 0. The back row efficiency today has me in awe, Jeff. Just the amount of back row attacks that they're putting away and being able to not just use their front row hitters, but also Torrey and Olivia in the back row has been incredible. Pitt is hitting 549 and an ace. Second of the match for Rachel Fairbanks. This one she didn't have help on. Koenig saves it and double hit by Florida State. And this is 
exactly the worst thing you could imagine for Florida State to start this third set. Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm thinking you might want to call this timeout really early here. Just, again, stop that momentum, get that reset. And the Panthers. They want another player into the net or Illegal back Legal row touch. attack there by 16, which is Ashley Reynolds coming in to set. She is back row, so when she touches that ball and she's trying to jump set, it has to stay on the Seminole side. It is just all Panthers right now. Koenig, and that one's saved by Pitt, and blocked back down by Koenig is the attempt by Olivia Babcock. Audrey Koenig, 21 consecutive double-figure kill matches. She's at seven. I mean, she's put up some crazy numbers this year too, Jeff. In a three-set match against Wake Forest, she had 20 kills and eight aces. And this time it's with finesse for Vasquez Gomez. What you don't see as much out of this Panthers team using those shots, you know, whether it's a tip, a throw, a roll shot, you see that not too often from the Panthers. Koenig set up. Klicka not able to save that one. Koenig with an eighth kill. Under Koenig, 322 coming in, so now at 330 can really see why she was co-ACC player of the year last year. She had a double-double against Pitt last season. And service error by Florida State. And I know you want to serve tough because you don't want to give the Panthers an easy ball to head into an offense, but it also is hard whenever you know, you're know you down early. You really want to try to keep that momentum on your side and keep your own server back there. Cat flood to serve. Back set and Koenig is on a little bit of a run herself for Florida State, really keeping the Seminoles in this right now. Yeah, and on that play, doing it all. Perfect pass, transition to the right side, went in for the kill. Olivia Babcock is blocked down this time. And now you see a little emotion coming from that Florida State side. Billy Mao. And in the middle, it's Ryla Jones to put that away. Ryla Jones, just a freshman. Fort Washington, Maryland. And just a little long for Olivia Babcock. Olivia Babcock, three aces from the pit record, has 50 on the season. Of course, with that serve also come the errors. Oh, helps with just like their ability to just improvise, you know, your shot selection, your ability to kind of cover more court than you need to defensively. So this either goes, stays at 11-9 or goes to 10-10. Panthers won the first set 25-18, then 25-15 in the second. We're really rolling here early in the third. Olivia Babcock, 16 kills, nine for Tori Stafford, nine for Audrey Koenig, 12 assists for Kenneth Phelan to lead Florida State, 30 for Rachel Fairbanks for the Panthers. And that big difference in assists between the two leaders on each team is a big credit to Rachel Fairbanks running that 5-1. She's the only setter on the court for the Pitt Panthers, whereas on the Florida State side, they're running a 6-2. So you've got both Lauren Robertson and Kenna Phelan 
acting as setters for the Seminoles. See Adam Gusky, the PA announcer, and a point stays with the Panthers, and Florida State loses a challenge. <laughs> it, it's funny uh, to me to watch coaches' reactions, even when it says on videotape that it play went a certain way. They still believe what they saw and exactly. what their players saw. And that's not against Chris. Nah. I mean, Dan would have similar reactions at times. Mallory Meyer back in to serve for Pitt. Lewis tries to dump it down. Vasquez Gomez. Valeria Vasquez Gomez, six kills, an ace, excuse me, two aces, an assist, two digs, and a block. And that's really where I think her game is kind of in its specialty role, is, is contributing everywhere a little bit, really being a complete player for the Panthers. Lewis, done a nice job against Lewis t tonight. And the hit off the hands of Lewis and Philly Ma. And here we are at 13-9. From the back, Koenig is blocked by Vasquez Gomez. I do like the idea there to keep her involved in the back row, especially if that pass isn't perfect. I think she gives you a good shot at a kill. We have, the Panthers have senior day coming up on Sunday against Miami. And that block out of bounds, so Florida State gets it back after a 4-0 run from Pitt. And that's a nice tool there off of a really, really good fast set all the way to the pin by Robertson. Just a sophomore, Kyleen to serve. And a kill in the middle for Bree Kelly. It's kind of a quiet five kills for Bree Kelly as we have reached 15. We'll take a timeout here in Pittsburgh. It's two sets to none, Pitt 15-10 against Florida State here in the third at the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse. and five points here in the third with Rachel Fairbanks to serve, although from about two-thirds of the way into the first set, it's been a more representative FSU team with the exception of, an, again, a pit run in the second set. And pinball back for Florida State, but a kill in the middle for the Pitt Panthers. And you love that effort. You love keeping that ball alive. But at the end of the day, sending over a free ball is just going to put so much pressure on your defense to try to defend these hitters. I mean, it looked like it was going off flippers. <laughs> exactly. But the Panthers able to get the point, and Bree Kelly with a couple of points in a row. Audrey Koenig is blocked. We're going to try Koenig again, and Klicka is able to dig it. Vasquez Gomez just tries to send it over. It's blocked and out of bounds, and Panthers now up seven. We're at, at the challenge. It was 11-9, and now here we are at 17-10. And a lot of credit to Fairbanks for, you know, again, really, really tough serves, putting a lot of pressure on this Florida State team. And this time a tip in the middle. Well done by Corey Lewis. Lewis with a fifth kill. The Panthers have been pretty much able to keep her in check. The hit percentage not as high as it's been this season. Yeah. 
Ella Guyona served for Florida State, but the Panthers able to end up with the point. I think this set, they're really trying to, you know, throw everything at them, see if we can get a couple new servers, see if they can, you know, mix it up a little bit. We've seen a couple new faces up front. At this point, you're just looking for a spark. Olivia Babcock with 18 kills, but you could argue Vasquez Gomez has been the key player for Pitt here tonight. As that one sent over, I think Olivia heard and decided to put down <laughs> kill number 19. Been a mostly dominating performance for Pitt here tonight as another block, but this one out of bounds and a 10th kill for Audrey Koenig. It's a cool story with Kenna Phelan. Her mom played for Chris Poole at Arkansas. I saw that, that's crazy. Chris was only 10 when he was coaching then, but. <laughs> Tori Stafford puts it away. I mean, what a cool opportunity to play for the same coach that your mom played for. Cat flood in to serve at 2012. Do you think that gave him an advantage recruiting there? <laughs> And you know, over the holidays, they have the same things to complain about, right? <laughs> <laughs> is he still? Yes, he is. That's where the real bonding happens yes. with volleyball players. <laughs> the Panthers, again, just taking control after Florida State had fought back to nearly tie it. And that one hit way up into the air and a kill for Florida State, Audrey Koenig. Great pass there by Emery Dupes. And Klicka to serve receiver. That one blocked in the middle by Florida State. And we had mentioned Kelsey Perry Perry able to get the point there, just her first kill in this match. And the Koenig serve goes long that time. Yeah, Perry's one of those true middle blockers where she is in there predominantly as that blocker and to be that defensive threat. Perry with four blocks. For the Panthers to serve, it's Olivia Babcock. 51 aces on the season for Olivia Babcock. And at 23-14, get a timeout. Have you, the ACC a few years ago, you remember Dan Fisher saying, I'm sure Chris probably said this about seeding when Florida State was getting into the tournament. There was no, there wasn't much respect. It was kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, they play division one, but how good is that volleyball? And it's almost like Pitt in Louisville with Danny Busboom Kelly and also Dan Fisher. And then you get Chris Poole and then Georgia Tech rising. Uh, it is a completely different conference. And then you add in Stanford, SMU, and you kind of get the feeling that Cal's going to be good too at some point. Yeah, and what's interesting is, like you said, you know, there was probably a little bit of a lack of respect there for seeding. But now, all of a sudden, you got these new teams in. You've got a whole bunch of teams ranked, making you know some big upsets in the year. And now you're thinking, if you're coming from the ACC going to the tournament, you're now battle tested. You've now played a, a strong season. You've played a bunch of really good teams. And now you're ready to compete at the highest level. I'm not ready to say they're miles ahead, or maybe even ahead at all of the Big Ten. But at least it's a conversation now, where if you had that conversation six years ago, people would laugh at you. Yes, absolutely. Like now you can, I think you can truly right. debate it. Because they've say, earned it. Exact, absolutely. The 
Babcock nearly with an ace. Hell of a serve receiving. Why not Rachel Fairbanks? I love the selection. I love it. Again, it's just about picking your moments. It's not about doing it all the time, but just enough. Match point for the Panthers. <laughs> I, I love every reaction of watching Rachel Babcock serve from the awe to the sound of the hit. It's entertaining no matter what. Florida State still alive, dupes to serve. And from the middle is Olivia Babcock, her 19th kill that ends this match. You're playing the 25th ranked team in the country, and you win 18-15-15. I mean, this is, a, this is a quality Florida State team. They're ranked for a reason. They've had some big wins this year. They've played consistent ball. But this Pitt Panthers team is so hard to slow down. And I mean, today that started and finished. Adi saya mak gigi kelihatan ni ni elah. 